We're at Apogee Stadium with the new head coach of uh, the Mean Green, Seth Luttrell. Welcome. Welcome to North Texas. Welcome to Denton. It's an honor to be here. This has been a whirlwind 48 hours for you. Two nights ago, you're coaching to try and make maybe the national championship playoff, and you're here today. What's it like uh, to have gone through that experience and now be here today? I'll tell you what, it's a double-edged sword because we had such a great run in North Carolina and the, and the uh, you know, the overall uh, picture was our kids and, you know, the grit the ter determination they had all season um, for what they were fighting for and the way they came together as a team is a credit to those guys. We had an unbelievable coaching staff um, that I had an opportunity to work with that was uh, second to none. And because of those guys, um, it was very hard. But this is a place that, um, to me and, and Beck and I, we're from this area. I uh, grew up in Oklahoma. My family still lives in Oklahoma. and. For me, um, this was the perfect perfect fit. When this job opened, uh, there was no doubt in my mind it would be the perfect fit, and um, it was uh, a place that I really wanted to pursue. And then uh, once I started talking to the administration uh, about this program, uh, just the vision, the passion, uh, and the energy they had uh, about North Texas football, um, it was there was no doubt in my mind uh, what we were uh, meant to do. Coming from Oklahoma, from Muskogee, playing at OU, did you always have in your mind that you wanted to enter coaching? I knew I was blessed at a very early age. Um, you know, my dad played at Oklahoma, so I grew up in a football family, not a coaching family, um, but I knew at a very young, young age um, that I wanted to grow up and play football just like my dad at the University of Oklahoma. Um, and then somewhere around the sixth or seventh grade, um, you know, I always still knew I wanted to play, uh, but I had a, a, a a Paul Young, or uh, Little League football coach, uh, who was my head coach, take me and scout another team. And uh, once we were out there scouting, we saw a couple tendencies the team had uh, where they were running the football because they were putting their offensive line all to one side. Um, and that, from that moment on, I knew going out and uh, scouting that team, I knew I wanted to be a football coach. And I was blessed at an early age. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and so it allowed me to make the proper contacts along the way. Um, being around different coaches, my high school coaches were unbelievable, let me sit in the office at night and uh, game plan with them and be around that offense. And um, going into college, every coach I had knew that I wanted to be a football coach. Um, and so it really um, prepared me um, to get to where I am today. And then a lot of great, unbelievable uh, coaches took care of me. And, um, you know, took care of me at a very early age, so I was extremely blessed. But I think at the end of the day, it came back to knowing what I wanted to do, and there was no doubt in my mind at an early age. Well, part of the Bob Stoops National Championship team, a captain on that Oklahoma team in 2000, and Bob Stoops sort of is part of the North Texas coaching tree in a way because he was a Hayden Fry Absolutely. guy, player, coach. Um, and you're one of the branches from his coaching tree. Having played for him and seen how he does things, what did you take from Bob Stoops? I'll tell you what, this is the grit and determination he has on a daily basis. Um, you know, he holds his kids accountable. Um, uh, at the same time, he allows them freedom to have a lot of fun. And this, in this uh, day and age, you've got to have fun in college football. It's still about, um, it's still a sport, and it's a 365-day-a-year job anymore. Um, so if they're coming to the office every day and they're not enjoying what they're doing, um, it's just too much on them. There's a lot to have, uh, there's a lot of other things other than football, uh, mentoring and academics um, that are involved. And so you've got to make sure they're enjoying what they're doing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about grit and determination. It's about uh, believing in who you are, uh, no matter what. Um, and then he never allowed us to make excuses. He taught us that when you make excuses, you're never going to learn from your, your past mistakes. Uh, we all make mistakes. And if uh, we have too big of egos not to fix that, then we'll never learn from it. He was also famous for making sure that the coaches' families were involved and up at the offices and part of the operation, and that makes a 100-hour work week a little easier, doesn't it? I get, yes, absolutely, and family is uh, very important to me, and, my, and Becca and I, and our family, um, all of them. Um, I grew up in a very tight family um, and knew from a very early age uh, that we would always, um, even though we had our differences and have had our differences along the way, it's more about open communication and um, you know, understanding to be loyal to each other and love each other and support each other. And it was no different at Oklahoma. Um, Bob Stoops and his staff, uh, the kids were always running around. It was a very uh, tight-knit family and it carried over the players. 
if you are sitting in the locker room uh, every single day, um, you got to be a family. You have to have each other's back. We may not all come from the same background. Uh, we may not all come from um, the same place or uh, same high school or East Texas, West Texas, North Texas, Oklahoma. At the end of the day, we're all fighting for a common goal. And uh, you got to be a very tight knit group uh, to have success. So early on in your coaching rise, you're with Mike Leach at Texas Tech and part of um, the best season Texas Tech to this day has ever had, 2008. What did you learn from Mike Leach and in that experience? Keep it simple and have fun. And Mike, um, you know, with what he does offensively, um, he believed in what he did. Um, and in turn, his players uh, believed in what we did. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We had a uh, very young staff on offense. Um, a lot of guys that now have gone on and uh, had very successful careers. And let's face it, we had unbelievable players who bought in, uh, who came to work every single day. They were enthusiastic, and they were a tight team. Again, I think every successful team I've been around, those guys in the locker room wanted to be around each other. And um, they might not all agree on every subject in life, uh, but at the end of the day, they have fun together because you have to go to battle with those guys. And if, it's so comforting to know um, when you go out there and you're playing your tail off and you're giving everything you have, um, you're doing it for the guy next to you, and um, he's going to have your back. On to Arizona, then Indiana, and then most recently North Carolina. And those last two people look at as basketball schools who occasionally are good at football. You were part of record-setting seasons at both Indiana and North Carolina. At that point, would you say your offensive philosophy and system were pretty much established in your mind? Yeah, as to what a Seth Luttrell offense is? I've never strayed too far from who I am. Um, it is, uh, you know, it's my background. I think you have to be passionate and you have to be able to sell what you do because what you truly believe in. Um, and so every place I've been has been a part um, a philosophy, you know, and our, my philosophy has been a big part of it and it's what I want to do. And, um, you know, a spread, no huddle, multi-tempo offense, being excited, pushing the tempo, uh, letting your players go out and make plays, spreading the ball around to as many different positions, stretching the field, and having fun. Again, I go back to having fun every single time because when those guys are out there making plays, uh, they're pulling for each other, they're rooting for each other, they're high-fiving, offense, defense, special teams, everybody's pulling together. Um, that's what it takes to win football games. And it's a very fine line uh, between uh, being a a three and eight football team uh, to a 13 and 0 football team, uh, and it, again, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of determination and grit. Uh, but it, but more importantly, it takes a very tight knit group um, that comes together, and um, you have that uh, you have that camaraderie. You went to both Indiana and North Carolina and coached the players who were there. You don't have a chance to really recruit people for your system, but still made it work. What are the challenges involved in doing that here? It's like anywhere. You have to go in and build relationships. And you have to, uh, those guys have to understand that you're for them. Uh, you're going to do everything uh, in your power uh, to do, get everything you can for them. Um, and at the end of the day, we're all pushing for this, uh, the same goal. And um, you got to instill confidence um, in each and every team I've been a part of. You've got to believe. Uh, you got to take all negative doubts out of your head. I'm a big positive uh, reinforcement guy, and that came from my mother. When I was growing up, um, there was nothing that I couldn't do in life, and she told me what I was going to do, not what uh, I thought I could do. This is, once you have a goal set in your mind, all right, this is what our plan is, is that this is how we're going to achieve it. Uh, and so I, I truly believe that just believing in each other and believing in what you do um, fixes 90% of your problem. And nice that your system uh, dovetails with what almost every good high school program in Texas plays. So it, it shouldn't be that hard, I would think, to find people who are going to be ready to plug themselves into your Seth Luttrell offense here. I, I'll tell you this, uh, it's an unbelievable opportunity to uh, recruit the best high school players in the country. Um, this footprint, um, there's a ton of players in the state of Texas. 
um, that are involved uh, not only in this offense but a lot of great offenses. Um, you know, every every offense is unique, um, and the biggest thing is not so much what you do, is how you sell it and, and how you practice, and what those kids believe in. Um, but there's no doubt in my mind, uh, there's a number of unbelievable players. Uh, right here at our doorstep and we need to sell what we have here at North Texas um, and get those players uh, to stay home. We got to go out and build relationships in the community and relationship with these high school uh, coaches, players, um, teachers and make sure we give ourselves every opportunity uh, to coach these young men, uh, young men and mentor them and have them understand that we're going to care a lot about uh, their their former players, their children. Um, we're going to take care of them here at North Texas, and we have an unbelievable product uh, that will set them up for their futures. We're talking about offense because you're an offensive guy, but now you're in charge of everything. What will you be looking for defensively in terms of the type of player and the philosophy? I want a defense that um, first is aggressive. Um, they're, they're sound in their fundamentals, their alignment and their assignment. Uh, I want them to be able to play fast um, by not thinking a whole lot. Uh, and today and age, we get uh, we lock our players up at times, um, doing too much, making it too difficult. Um, to where in the in the today's age, the way um, the game has gotten, it's a fast-paced offense, uh, fast-paced game. And so they got to be able to go out there and read and react and play and have fun. Um, but the biggest thing I want guys, uh, I want a guy in here that's going to be extremely aggressive. Uh, matches up to our offense. Uh, they make stops, they give us the ball back so we can score again. Do you base that on the defenses that were toughest for you to game plan against? Absolutely. Um, when you're beating your head uh, on the wall throughout the week and you're game planning and um, you're tired and you're watching that tape and studying other opponents, there's no doubt in your mind, uh, you have in your mind uh, what it looks like um, and what, it make, what makes it difficult for you. Um, at the end of the day, there's a lot that plays into it. The biggest thing I want is a guy, uh, um, uh, as a defensive coordinator, um, come in here and steal their system. They believe in it. They sell it to their players. We're all on the same page. We all believe in what uh, we're doing. Um, he's a great mentor, a great teacher. He's going to coach hard, uh, but we got to love him harder. At the end of the day, we're a family, and these uh, student athletes have to know um, they're not a piece of me. We care about them. Um, again, there's nothing going to be easy about this game. It's too hard in today's age. But at the end of the day, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be a family, and we're going to love each other. Seth, again, congratulations. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Seth Luttrell, new head coach, North Texas Mean Green Football.